Welcome back everyone. Today it's floor day. We're gonna show you how to insulate your floor and prep your floor mm -hmm. for what? Whatever is gonna go on top. Cause yeah, we're not leaving it gray. So we're adding something super cool to this van. We're putting hydronic floor heating into the van. What that means is we're gonna have a bunch of PEX piping. It basically pumps glycol, which is like antifreeze for your engine. And it's going to heat up the floor. It's going to have a little block heater in it. It's going to also heat our hot water system. So we're going to have piping hot water all the time. And now there's an helicopter. I think we're good. Okay. So. So hydronic. Yeah. Very cool. So lots to do. We're what? We're using cold cell foam pink stuff. Which is? We're using XPS foam. <laughs> yeah. We're using XPS foam, a big one inch chunk all along the floor. And we're also gonna be using all the factory mounts that the, the factory subfloor goes in so we can make sure the floor is nice and tight and holding it all together. Yeah, so let's show exciting. You the let's start. We are Zach and MP. And for the last year, we have been traveling, living and working aboard our self-converted ProMaster van with our two dogs, Cindy and Jasper. Now, we're off to a new adventure, as we recently bought a brand new 170 Sprinter that we will be converting ourselves again. Join us on this new series of episodes as we will walk you through the steps of building your own van conversion in hope to inspire you to live this amazing lifestyle. So what we're doing right now is we're removing these guys. These are the subfloor mounts that keep that factory floor down to the base. We, they're a M8. We just took them out with a torque driver and we're gonna be using these later on. So we wanted to keep them. The floor down here is already pre-tapped. So all that means is we can reapply them with a slightly longer bolt. So we will be going and we need to get these guys about one inch longer, which should be pretty easy to do. The next step we have to do is take off the factory subfloor. Oops. Our factory floor is pretty easy, except that Jasper is currently being a weight and a something. What are you doing, buddy? So we're gonna start lifting this up once we get Jasper out of here. Jasper, get up. Move. Jasper, come over here. Come over here. Lifting up. I'm gonna bring it outside. Jasper had his back. There we go. On it. Yeah. And funny enough, it's actually not glue on the new vans. It's Velcro! It's Velcro! It's meant to be taken off, in other words. off all the velcro we're gonna clean everything <laughs> we're gonna take off the velcro some big industrial stuff we're taking off we're gonna clean the floor with some spray it's just water and dish soap and some fancy towels you can hear my heart beating sweet talk come on give it to me oh my my oh my my So what we're going to do now is we are going to take this half inch XPS foam and we're going to cut out as about one inch strips out of this guy and we're going to put them down on the deep trenches. You see how there's one, two, three of them that are quite a bit deeper, they recess down. So we're going to lay this all across to make it a more uniform flat surface going all over. So next step, we're gonna use adhesive foam board 300 from PL, doesn't matter. As long as it's for foam board. Um, and then we're gonna do a small bead under these pieces.
once we finish doing the gluing over on the the foam little spacers we're going to come here on the factory floor and we're going to take out these guys right here so these are spacers that came with them we don't need them for the job that we're doing so all we're going to do is take the pry bar the little caparoo and 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 we put our glasses on oh yeah always wear your safety <laughs> glasses take a little after you look tap taparoo come in here pry it up trying to make sure we don't wreck anything they're just little staples in there super easy and work our way take all these guys off okay so we have pre-planned most of our build in illustrator though autocad might be better we're using illustrator as we have it we have already laid out our insulation pieces and we know that we're going to be using three different four by eight sheets to make this shape. So there's the one, two and a half, and then this big piece right here. So we're going to go over to the real stuff and we're going to trace out the insulation by using the sub floor that came with the van. You have something to say? I'm looking for my Sharpie. Where's the Sharpie? Oh, I see it. So you say 180? Nine. Nine? Something about the way you sound shakes me up and makes me get down on my 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 my. When I get that feeling, you can hear my. Now I'm looking for my exacto knife. Ready? Done. Get the cut. Ha! You're so strong. The cheese, because it's going against the side of the van. We're going from the other way. We need to make the holes. Yeah. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is we're going to lay the glue on the high ridges and the foam we installed earlier and we're going to start installing our main floor insulation. Okay, so as you can see, we glued the floor in. We had traced every piece. We basically used the original factory floor to get our shape and now we're going to make sure that we're putting pressure on it and we're going to get started with the floor heating. So if you're not doing floor heating in your van, you may want to zzz ahead. But if you'd want to know how you could do floor heating in your van, then you keep watching. All right, so what we're doing now is we're going to transpose our computer designs to real life. Yeah, we're going to mark out our main strips and be carefully measuring. <laughs> Okay, so MP has cut out the whole track with the router. So the next step is to start inlaying our PEX. So we're gonna put our PEX into our routered groove. It's a little bit of a trick, but it does work. So what you're gonna do, just peel it back and shove it in nice and tight and work your way along it as we go. Now, coming up to the first hard turn of the day, the thing with PAX is pretty handy, is you can basically pre-manipulate the curve that you're going for. So, Zach kindly put all the PEX into the cracks. And I'm going around and I'm just using aluminum tape to tape all the corners to make sure they don't pop out, because right now they all kind of want to pop out. And what we're gonna do after this, so basically, ah, can't do it on camera. 
basically just making sure these corners are nice and solid. And then with the spray foam, is it already shaken? You will do the crack. <gasps> okay. And then the edges. Oh, perfect. So we're just gonna get in the crack here. It's super, super tight, and that there's no gap for the cold to come through. All right, so we just taped in the floor. It's all foamed in. Now we're gonna put the, like the subfloor or the plywood back on. But before we do that, we have to make a modification to it. We have two cuts. We have to cut out access points for this guy right here and the one over there. So what are we doing here? This one is gonna be a block heater or like a radiator heater for the garage. So you might've noticed that we pulled in all the floor heating into the back here. We learned from the last fan that if the garage is too cold, you get like condensation, it's kind of gross. But on top of that, our fresh water tank is going right over this wheel well. So this pipe is gonna keep it from freezing in the winter. And we're gonna have a blower here. And on this side, we brought in around the wheel always all of our electronics are gonna be living around here. So in the winter, we wanna keep them a little bit warmer because we are doing lithium batteries, which means we need to keep them warm in the winter to charge. So this whole area is gonna be nice and toasty. It's gonna be fantastic. So we did cut out the floor here, and this is to give us access to where our floor heating basically starts and terminates, which is where also the hydronic heater is gonna be under the van. So the way this is gonna work is the hydronic heating is gonna pump hot fluid into here and through the whole floors. It's also gonna go through our hot water heater and one block heater, which has the same access we put in the back under the garage. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this video was useful if you're planning on insulating your floor with foam. Yep. Um, and maybe you're considering doing floor heating. So we hope that maybe our step-by-step -step, um, kind of live <laughs> filming of what we were going through yep. um, helped you figure out how you may do it, how you may use it in your own van. Basically everything you saw in this video is basically all the steps so you can make your floor. Um, and even then, and we didn't even cover that in this video. We're not, <laughs> we don't even have it yet. Our floor, we're still waiting on our floor. So, um, so yeah. This is, this is sort of part one. Part two will not come right away, but it will come yeah. later. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.